Well, UK's President Vladimir Zelensky has unveiled a long-awaited victory plan, urging his country to stay united as the war in Ukraine nears 1,000 days. It outlines the country's bid to be formally invited to join NATO and includes ramping up efforts to get allies to lift restrictions on long-range strikes in Russia. Ukraine is also seeking to continue military operations on Russian territory. The Ukrainian president says if the plan is implemented in full now, it could end the war by next year. We Ukrainians together with our partners must change the circumstances so that the war ends regardless of what Putin wants. We must all change the circumstances so that Russia is forced to peace. If we start moving with this idea, with this specific plan of victory right now, we can end the war no later than next year. A key element of the plan is receiving a NATO membership invitation before Joe Biden leaves the US presidency. Russia cited Ukraine's moves to join NATO as a key reason for launching its invasion. NATO's Secretary General was non-committal on the request but says Ukraine is closer than ever to joining the alliance. It is my firm belief that one day Ukraine will be a member of NATO and I will applaud when that day comes. Um, it's also very clear that Putin or Russia have no say in this, no vote, no veto. Uh, they cannot influence that uh, discussion. Russia has denounced the victory plan, saying the Ukrainian president is trying to push NATO into a direct conflict with Moscow. Russia's foreign ministry said the plan will lead to disaster for the Ukrainian people. He is pushing NATO into a direct conflict with our country and again insists on getting permission to use weapons on Russian territory. This is not a Zelensky victory plan. This is a plan for the misfortune of Ukraine and to the Ukrainian people.